Bumblebee, Bumblebee Tuna. Hobby Mom TV. Hey, hobby friends. I'm Hobby Mom, and I'm so excited because my Bubble and Bee package finally came in. Actually, it didn't take too long. It only took like two days. But I'm so excited. So come on, open it with me and see what goodies I got. Let's get this stuff out of the box because I'm so excited. Now notice they shipped it in a special type of packaging. It's because it's summer and it'll melt. It's just sitting out, you know, on your porch. So they have to put special packaging. I paid the extra $2 for it to do that, to keep it nice and cool. What's in the first surprise egg? Let's find out. Oh yes, it's my facial wash. Okay, so here's the dealio with this stuff. I actually use it to wash my body. I know it's face wash, but it's organic, so I just feel like it's a little safer, and they don't really make a body wash that I'm all that crazy about, so I use their face wash, which I'm crazy about. That's just my honest opinion. Woo! Take it or leave it. What's up, hobby pig? <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Okay, now this flavor I haven't tried it. The other one was um, cucumber. Ooh, what, so, what flavor is this? This one is honey and rose hip. Woo! Let's see what it smells like. Please smell like honey, please. It does. It totally nice smells smell. like honey. I don't yeah. smell it. I don't smell it. Here, smell it on my hand. Yeah. My hands are clean. Mm. Smells good, right? Okay, what's in the second surprise egg? Let me rinse off my hand real quick. <laughs> and it leaves your body feeling nice and smooth, too. That's what I let's, want to let's do this one. Let's do this one. It's easier oh. while we're at it. Oh my god, that's like the oldest mm. alarm clock ever. Don't make fun of my antique alarm clock. I've had it since I was a kid. Oh yes, this is the <laughs> organic witch hazel. You know when you order something and it's been so long and then when it comes in you're like, what What did I order? I don't even remember. But they actually are pretty fast shipping. So this will be great as an astringent for my face, take off makeup, and what I love about it is it's organic. The best thing you can put on your body. Now let's get these surprise eggs opened up. Kids are watching, always have an adult with you when using scissors. Man, look at that. They like double packed it. There we go, there we go, we're getting there. This is what I was waiting for right here. My most favoritest, coveted body butter ever. It's but literally <laughs> called body butter. It's sweet jasmine. This is my favorite scent of all scents, like truly. It smells so good, and you guys wanna see the texture? They have all this um, crazy nonsense on it. It's kind of funny for their marketing and packaging. It's kind of silly. It's like, that's their thing though. That's what makes them charming. Please be frothy. Oh God, it did melt. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it is literally like whipped butter. And it, I put it on before bed every night on my hands and arms. Mm. It smells good, huh? He uses the coconut and lime one. And, coconut. And then I use the sweet jasmine, so. What else came in my little packages? Oh yes, I got my face butter, or face cream. But <laughs> Now, honestly, the smell is not like super fantastical. It smells very, very au naturel. That's the point, you know, because it's healthy, and it goes on your face, so you want it very pure. But man, this stuff is amazing, the way it makes your skin feel so creamy. Look at that, oh, that is like the color of butter right there. It just smells like rosehip and vitamin E. It's not bad. You can just let everyone know I use spice and brown and sugar. Yeah, Hobby Dad uses... He uses the sugar and spice? Yeah. Yeah. It smells good. It does, it really does. It's funny because it should be like for women, sugar and spice and everything nice, but it kind of has a masculine smell to it, believe it or not. All right, let's open up. More stuff. Oh my goodness. I ordered some stuff. I didn't, I didn't even remember all the stuff I ordered. Looks like a T-bone steak. Oh, <laughs> this is the ice packs. They melted. <laughs> so there's nothing in there. That's just trash. Raise your hand if you've seen the movie Emperor's New Groove. And you know the part in there where Fusco is talking to the old lady and she's like put that box on another box put that box on another box and you ship that box that's what this reminds me of 
That's what we were talking about. Oh, I just got more sweet jasmine. Awesome. And awesome. I go through it so crazy fast. Now, as a little bonus, I'm gonna show you guys the other bubble and bee stuff that I have in my medicine cabinet. I use jasmine putty. It's the only flavor of theirs that I really like the smell of, and it actually works. I am like a antiperspirant addicted person, and it took me a long time to make the switch over to organic, just literally deodorant of just in order, in organic ingredients. It was really hard to make that switch because I hate even the thought of maybe I smell, you know? Bubble and Bee Organic Splash of Lime Toning Mist. I put this on like probably a few times a day if I'm at home, you know, throughout the day. And it's very refreshing, it's great for your skin, and then I follow up with this at night, the face cream. Lastly, now in my shower, this is what I have left, I don't have much of it, it's the pineapple one. The honey one actually smells better as my body wash, so I'm gonna probably have to throw that out pretty soon. This works great for the feet, it's a salt scrub, peppermint and vanilla. It smells all right, but the apple spice one smells really good. That one's amazing, I highly recommend that one. The orange vanilla, I use this. I know it's body butter, and you put it on as lotion, but I actually, at the end, very end of my shower, I use, I, I grab a little bit of it, and I put it on my legs after I've shaved, while the shower is going. And my legs are, they stay shiny. I don't have to lotion them for like two days because this stuff works so well. And then I use the remainder of it on the ends of my hair. So that's just like a weird little tip. Sometimes I use things unconventionally and it works great like that. So those are my approved Hobby Mom tips of the day. Thank you for watching my product reviews. Make sure to check out our other product reviews, DIYs from all the moms on the Hobby Mom channel. I'm Hobby Mom and I'll see you on the next show. Toodaloo! Bye! This is another little baby tip I'd like to offer. It's Honest Body Oil. It's all organic, but it actually works great as a diaper cream. It's not cream, of course, it's oil. But instead of using, for all those moms that love the natural way, instead of using desitin, unless it's like a super bad diaper,